company of a man missing since last Thursday has been found, according to family members. 7 Action News reporter Dave Llewellyn is live in southwest Detroit with more on the discovery and what police are saying. Dave. A new police say they will wait for a positive identity, but uh, the two women who have had children with Ashton Butler say the search for him is over. Emotions spilled over as family and friends gathered at the corner of Ethel and Francis. Just... They were fearing the worst, that the body of a black male discovered in the trunk of a car inside a garage on Ethel was that of 26-year-old Ashton Butler, who went missing on March 30th. This is terrible. This is like the worst thing that I've ever experienced. Melanie Brown is a daughter with Butler. She shared this photo of him with three-year-old Ashanti while waiting as homicide detectives worked the scene. I to prepare myself for this, though. You know how they say, prepare for the worst. And it's been since Thursday. Detectives went door to door on Ethel to see if residents saw anything unusual. Police were called around 1130 this morning by the owner of the White House in the middle of the block with the boarded up windows. It had been a rental property. He went to check out the garage. He found a vehicle inside that wasn't supposed to be there. He checked out the vehicle and found a, the body of a black male in the trunk of the vehicle. The medical examiner arrived just before 3 p.m. Family had been out in the neighborhood and surrounding area the last few days, passing out these flyers with Butler's photo on them, asking for help in finding him. In the last few minutes, Butler's foster mother, his aunt and a cousin also showed up here on Ethel Street. They are at this point looking for answers and they also say they want justice. We're live in Southwest Detroit. Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News. Anu? Yeah, Dave, such a sad story indeed. Is this being treated as a homicide right now? Very early in the investigation still. What police are saying at this point is that it's suspicious, obviously, with the body found in the trunk, but apparently there were no uh, initial visible signs of trauma. So they're investigating this uh, still at this point, again, waiting to make that positive identification uh, on the body. All right, Dave, thank you for that live report.